Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about comparing and arranging integers. So before we start this topic, I would like to inform you na meron tayong videos on how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide integers. At syempre, possible na makita nyo siya sa ating description box, yung mga links ng ating tutorial videos. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So, one important thing na kailangan niyang ma-review or matutunan about integers before comparing and arranging integers ay yung basic concept ng number line. So, sa number line, meron tayong three types of numbers sa integer. So, una, syempre yung nasa center nito, which is yung tinatawag nating zero. Yung zero natin, it's neither positive nor negative. So, wala siyang specific sign. And yung numbers naman, sa left side ng zero, these are the numbers na tinatawag nating negative numbers. or negative integers. Yung value nitong negative integers, these, these values are below zero. Yung natanda natin. Para may, meron tayong guide sa comparing and arranging integers. And yung numbers naman, on the right side of zero, these are the positive integers. We have the positive integers. So, lagyan natin symbol. This one, ito yung symbol niya, yung plus sign. At yung negative naman, yung minus sign. Now, since alam nyo na yung konsepto ng number line at yung value ng negative integers compared to zero, at yung value ng positive integer compared to zero, ay ready ka na sa pag-compare at arranging ng integers. We have here comparing integers. We are given the direction, supply the inequality symbol greater than or less than this is your greater than symbol. This is your less than symbol. To make the statement true. Let's start with item number 1. We are given 12 and negative 13. So, ano yung basic symbol or ano yung appropriate symbol to compare this integer? Since 12 is greater than negative 13, I will be using this symbol. Greater than symbol. Okay? So, for item number 2, 4 and 8, we know that 4 is less than. Eight. So, it is symbol natin for item number 2. And item number 3, we have negative 11 and 20. So, we know na if the integer is negative, automatic, that is less than 20 or a positive integer. So, the appropriate symbol to compare these numbers or these integers is a less than symbol. Next, number 4, negative 100 and 0. Negative 100 is less than 0. So this is the appropriate symbol for this. Number 5, we have 22 compared to negative 22. And definitely, positive 22 or 22 is greater than negative 22. So you can pause the video and you can try comparing the integers given from item number 6 to item number 10. Okay, you can pause the video. Okay, let's start comparing item number 6. 14 and negative 25. So the appropriate symbol for this is greater than because 14 is greater than negative 25. Now, for number 7, negative 2 and 0, negative 2 is located at the left side of 0, automatic. Negative 2 is less than 0. Number 8, we have negative 5 and 3. The appropriate symbol is greater than. Because one is negative and the other is positive. For number 9, negative 10 and 30. So the appropriate symbol is less than. And lastly, for number 10, 8 and negative 15, nagamitin natin yung symbol na greater than. So I hope na sa first 10 examples natin, alam nyo na kung paano mag-compare ng integers using the symbol greater than or less than. 
And yung knowledge nyo about comparing integers, ito naman ang maggamit natin sa second part ng ating tutorial, which is arranging integers. Now, for letter B naman, we are given two different sets. We're in the first set, we are given the direction, arrange the following integers from least to greatest. And for the other part, we are given the direction, arrange the following integers from greatest to least. So let's start with the first three examples of this tutorial video. We have arranged the following integers from least to greatest. So if you know the worth or the value of negative numbers, zero, and the positive integers, uh, pwede ka na mag-arrange ng mga integers from least to greatest. Again, ha, pag sinabi natin least to greatest, these are, uh, ito yung arrangement natin na kung saan mag-start tayo sa pinakamababa, meaning we will start with negative integers. So, for this set of integers, we have 5, 7, 3, 0, negative 2, negative 1, and 7. Now, mag-focus tayo sa negative integers since list naman yung sinasabi sa atin. So, we have negative 2, negative 1, and negative 7. And the proper arrangement, kung magsimula ka sa pinakamababa, you will start with negative 7. Kasi the more na tumataas yung kanyang absolute value or the more na mas malaki yung inisip mong 7 yan, di ba? Since that is negative 7, mas lalang bumababa ba yung value niya. So we have negative 7 followed by negative 2, negative 1. And then right after that, 0. Okay, 0 na tayo. And then sa positive num integers naman, we have 5, 3, 7. So next thing na ilalagay mo dito sa arrangement natin is that you have 3, 5, and 7. Ito ngayon yung arrangement natin from least to greatest. Yung smallest number natin dito is yung negative 7. At yung greatest natin is positive 7. So let's move on with item number 2. So you have this set of integers. You are given negative 3, 0, 1, 12, negative 5, 2, and 8. So mag-focus muna tayo sa negative numbers. You have negative 3 and negative 5. If you have this kind of integers, ang pinakamababa dyan is negative 5. Followed by negative 3. So erase na natin to. Okay na tayo sa negative 5 and negative 3. And then you have the 0. You will write here next is 0. Focus ka ngayon sa, sa positive integer. You have 1, 2, 8, and 12. So this will be 1, 2, 8, and 12. Ito lang ngayon yung final answer natin. So, you can pause the video and you can try answering or arranging item number 3. You have negative 7, 8, 6, negative 4, negative 1, 0, and negative 6. Okay. So, for the arrangement of this, you have the first number or the first integer will be negative 7, negative 6, negative 4, negative 1. Followed by 0, 6, and 8. Okay, yan yung, ano, yung arrangement natin na tama for item number 3. Now let's move on with the second part in which we are asked to arrange these integers from greatest to least. You have 5, negative 7, negative 3, 0, 2, 8, and negative 1. If meron kang ganitong klaseng direction, greatest, so mag-focus ka muna sa positive integers. So focus ka muna sa 2, 5, 8. So ang mauna natin is 8, followed by 5, 2. Saka natin, natin lalagay si 0. Then for the negative integers naman, mag-start ka sa negative 1. Yeah, negative 1, negative 3, followed by negative 7. That is the answer for item number 4. Now for item number 5, same rule. Greatest to least, mag-focus ka sa positive integer. Meron ka ngayon dito 3 and 8. So, unang may lagay dito yung 8, followed by 3. Next natin is 0. Tapos, sa negative integers naman, you have negative 1, negative 4, negative 2, negative 13. Unahin mo sa negative 1, followed by negative 2. Next is negative 4, and negative 13. Okay, yun yung tamang arrangement natin for item number 4. Now let's move on with item number 6. You have 20, 1, 6, 0, negative 4, negative 23, 
and negative 42. Same rule, since greatest to least, mag-focus ka sa positive integers, which is 1, 6, 20. So you have here the first integer, which is 20, followed by 6 and 1. Okay? And then after ng positive integers, syempre meron kang 0. Okay? Followed by your negative integers, uunahin mo ngayon. Ito, tama na yung arrangement niya eh. Ay, hindi. Ito lang pala sa positive ang hindi. So you have negative 4, negative 23, and negative 42. Ito ngayon yung final arrangement natin for item number 6. So I hope na natuto kayo kung paano mag-compare ng integers at kung paano mag-arrange ng integers from greatest to least and from least to greatest. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!